going from song concept to finished tune can take some time, especially depending on what you're wanting to put into it. What I'm talking about specifically is the production of the track itself, the tune you're working on. Now, music production isn't just a recording thing. It gets very specific. So let's hop into Studio One and we'll produce out a tune so you can see exactly what goes into it. So in Studio One, we have a session pulled up from one of my songs, What Can I Say? And we've come over here and we have created some scenes to show you exactly what we're doing to produce this song out, to build everything out and make it more full, make it entertaining, make it energetic, make it punch. So here we have just basic acoustic vocal, and this is what it sounds like. The only thing that I could give was never good enough for anyone. But then I found the only one and now so we have reverb happening on the vocals the guitars are nice and clean and pristine and that's not bad if you're looking for just an acoustic vocal track now for even a basic production if you're newer to the recording game and you're you're trying to develop something for acoustic vocal productions something basic like this how we have everything stripped down then i highly suggest you check out floodwaterstudios.com blueprint it's a brand new course that i've put out that walks you through getting a good acoustic and vocal recording we go through mixing production mastering the whole nine head over to floodwaterstudios.com blueprint and check it out today but say we wanted to build on this and we wanted to add some texture to the track so here what we did in this instance is we took a simple pad and we added a pad to the actual song so let's listen here with the pad and it just gives it a little bit of texture on the back end and now everything that i could give will never amount to what she does i think i found an angel from above so there you can see it's giving it just a little more texture a little more you know beefiness in the back end of things on the low end of things but we can also start playing with some different synths as well which we did here so we took another synth just to give it a little bit of movement with the texture itself instead of just the you know straight strumming acoustic and a long drony pad just to give it some sort of movement let's listen to that here Now with everything. Then I found the only one and now everything that I could give will never amount to what she does. Now along with that movement for the pad, we also added a bit more texture with just some background vocals. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can really, in this case, it's just repeating, following what the main vocal is saying. So let's listen to that. And it's only in a couple specific sections. It doesn't have to be exaggerated and a ton of things happening with the background vocals, but it just helps add a little bit of texture to the overall tune. The only thing that I could good enough for anyone but then i found the only one and now everything that i could give will never amount to what she does so even something that simple a couple words to do two different lines just kind of helps add some of that texture in there and makes it a little bit more interesting now, if we want to go further and start to add depth to everything as well, let's do this. So at this point, we're going to add three additional things. We're going to add drums. We're going to add bass. We're going to add a little bit of an electric guitar. Now, in this song, the electric guitar in solo sounds pretty horrendous. We'll, we'll play it for just a second here so you can hear it. Very mid-range driven. Now, in the context of the tune, it sounds pretty good. By itself, 
we don't want to listen to it that much by itself. So let's add everything one at a time here. So we've already added that electric. We'll keep that in. The only thing that I could give now the bass. Never good enough for anyone. But then I found the and now drums. And now everything that I could give will never amount to what she does. From above. We have now added some depth to the tune just with more low end. You have different frequencies coming through with that electric guitar, which, like I said, by itself doesn't sound wonderful, but when it's combined with everything else in context, it fits. It sounds great. And the drums really just help balance everything out as well. Now, everything except the acoustic guitars here is straight up the middle. So the next thing that we really want to do We've added texture, we've added depth, now we need to add some width, and we did that with electric guitars in this case. So coming in here, we'll listen to the sides of the electric guitars real quickly, and my rule of thumb here, really for anything, if you're working left and right with things, we, we want to look at balance. So if you're putting something on the left, what are we balancing that out with on the right? We don't want our our tunes to sound lopsided and one side heavy. So here, if we listen, we'll keep the middle electric in because you'll hear it in context with the other two guitars and we'll add each side individually real quickly. So if you took a notice to the meters over here, you can see that the right side is actually a little hotter than the left side. So we can compensate with that just with our faders here. So if we listen again. So you can see everything kind of balanced out. That's what we're looking for. We want balance and symmetry with things. Now, getting outside of, you know, the symmetrical can be interesting and it can be fun but like i said we we really want to keep that balance in mind so just a quick movement there to kind of get everything in check and then let's put everything else back in that we had so we'll put the acoustics put the pads and the synth and the vocals all of the reverbs and everything back on as well and let's put in the bass and drums with those side guitars now and you'll hear we're starting to get some width into everything as well. Now, one final note is, especially in the world of production and, and building songs out, you, you don't have to keep the entire song the same. So if you have background vocals in one chorus, you don't have to have them in another one, or you can do different background vocals. You don't have to have the same guitar parts at every single section that may repeat. Building out those different interesting ideas can help your tune tremendously so case in point this is the entire session now we have a couple different parts where there's different synths that come in there's different vocal lines that come through so let's listen to just a couple pieces of those so even in the first verse here life has taken its turns and happiness i've found along the way thrown it all away those thoughts and words i used to hold are gone and now my life won't be the same so again couple different phrasings couple different types of vocal performance harmonies for everything 
that mixes it up, especially for the chorus here, because the chorus just has those two simple phrases coming into the second verse. There's no additional harmonies or, or any sort of background vocals. And then coming down here, we actually took out these electric guitars. We dropped the electric guitars completely, and we can listen to that section because when you're thinking about production, it's not always about adding elements. Sometimes taking away elements that have already been introduced is a game changer as well. Let's listen to that section. So you can see it's drastically changed from really driven to broken back down, simplified, but it's different and it keeps things interesting. I hope this has helped you with just simple tactics to really produce your tune. Like I said, music production isn't recording and mixing, but it's also building out that tune to make things interesting, keep things fun, keep things different in the listener's ear as they're listening to the song so they keep listening to your song. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section. What's your favorite production tip that you've learned over the years? What's something that you tend to do in a lot of your songs? Not necessarily every single time, but something you enjoy doing. Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And over here, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. So check it out. Now go record something. See ya.